What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and welcome to my iPhone 7 leaks and rumors video. We made it so far and now I've got some new leaks and rumors to share with you regarding the new iPhone 7 and 7 Pro. The SE being already announced, no need for rumors on that anymore. So before I get into the juicy rumors, I wanted to talk about the iPhone SE. We knew almost everything there was to know about it before Apple released it. In fact, Apple didn't really surprise me with anything but the price. We thought the price would be just a little bit higher. The point is, you know, we know almost everything there is to know about Apple's releases even before they release it. That's crazy. Thanks a lot to the analysts that did leak a lot of the details. Even the name was correct, which I was very surprised with. So, you know, these videos aren't for nothing. They give us a very, very good idea about what the new iPhone 7 could look like. And most of the time, I'd say 75% of the stuff I talk about will likely happen. So iPhone 7 and 7 Pro, let's get started. So the very first thing I wanna talk about is iPhone sales in 2016. So one analyst is saying that sales are gonna fall. Apple has actually went out and told people earlier that you know iPhone sales are gonna be falling for the first time ever in 2016. It's because the 6S and 6S Plus just weren't that big of an upgrade, so it didn't compel too many people to buy them. Now, an analyst is saying that in 2017, sales will go up, but in the meantime, in 2016, they will actually stay low at 216 million units predicted of iPhones in general versus 237 in 2015. So that's quite a downgrade, you know, for analysts, that's not very good news. The iPhone 7, it's not expected to make as big of a wave as the 6S. It's predicted that sales for the iPhone 7 will cap at 70 million units in 2016 versus 75 that sold for the 6S model in 2015. So sales certainly are going down, not to mention the iPhone SE was a really, really disappointing start. In China, they sold a lot, 3 million units, you know, close to overnight. They sold a ton of those things, but over here, they're not as popular. People like larger phones, so 0.1% of the entire iPhone market right now that people are using is dedicated to the SE versus 0.4 of the total iPad market quickly being adopted to the new iPad Pro 9.7 inch. You know, sales are disappointing and they are gonna be going down because the iPhone 7 just isn't gonna be that big of a release. The design won't change too much. It won't stray too far from the iPhone 6S. It'll be like a stepping point for the next iPhone. They're getting rid of the headphone jack, a lot of the painful stuff, and then next year, all the good stuff will come. So more details on the iPhone 7 Pro, as Ming Chi Kao himself actually said that the iPhone 7 Pro will be receiving the exclusive dual lens module. Before it was debated whether it would be on the 7, 7 Pro, but now he's saying it'll be strictly dedicated to the 5.5 inch iPhone. He's not specifying if it's the plus or the pro model, but what he actually did say was the new iPhone shipments to be capped by similar form factor as the 6S and 6S Plus. Top hardware upgrade is dual camera, 5.5 inch model only. Though many competing models with dual camera will launch soon. Basically competitors will go ahead and launch a lot of these smartphone lenses, dual lenses, but they won't be as good right away. He also did say that first impressions could underwhelm. Because this is first generation of a new technology, you know, it is to be expected it won't be at its full potential. With the next refresh, it'll be getting better and better. And very closely related, Sina, their Weibo page, actually posted new details new images under a microscope of this purported dual lens system for the iPhone 7 Pro. We get really, really close up detail of this module. It looks very, very legitimate now. I mean, it's almost undeniable that the new iPhone 7 Pro will have a dual lens camera setup. And this is it right here. So he actually even compares it to a 6S Plus current sensor. And as you can see, this thing dwarfs it. I mean, it's absolutely massive. It's rumored that this module could be 21 megapixels. Now this is just a rumor. This is one I'm not even fairly, you know, certain about. It's coming from a sketchy source, but 21 megapixels mm -hmm. could be the larger iPhone 7 Pro's resolution. It could make sense, but I'm not very certain of it because there is a larger telephoto lens and a wide angle lens, so together they could equal out some crazy megapixels without necessarily meaning lower quality. Two to three optical zoom will be standard as a result of that dual lens setup. So we have our first detail on the standard iPhone 7 actual camera module. What megapixels will it be? 
12 megapixels. And this is because a lot of companies now, are, instead of focusing on larger and larger pixel sizes, they're actually focusing on quality where it counts. And that's micron sizes with the pixels. So the current iPhone 6S has a 1.22 micron pixel size. The new one will come with a 1.44 micron pixel size, allowing more light to enter, a lower aperture, meaning it'll get much better low light photos. And that's something we certainly can use in the new iPhone. The new lens sensor, of course, is supposedly the new Sony IMX260, I believe, that'll be coming from the Galaxy S7. It's actually a thinner module, so it will fit in well in the shell, allowing for a thinner design overall. So 12 megapixels will be the iPhone 7 rating. So the next rumor is basically depicting how Apple will be using a new fan out technology in order to package the antenna switching module. So the antenna that switches between CDMA and GSM radios will now be slightly spread out, but it will be thinner. And that's what Apple is aiming for with this iPhone. So this actual new design not only is thinner, but it does have its purpose as well. It'll allow for a greater amount of input or output terminals, basically for a faster switching between radios and overall thinner design who could complain. Apple's definitely looking to diet everywhere on this new iPhone. A thinner lightning enclosure, no headphone jack, the camera module being slightly slimmer. This new technology along with the EMI shielding they're implementing all over their chips will allow for less radio interference uh, while maintaining very, very high quality and overall just allowing Apple to condense the components inside of the logic board. So Apple is going on a major diet with the iPhone 7. It doesn't necessarily need to, but it doesn't mean it'll downgrade the performance from the 6S. I think that's quite a technology technological feat to downgrade the actual size of the phone, but maintain and, you know, go above the actual capabilities of the last iPhone. So iPhone 7 Pro pricing, this comes from PC and Life, and they're basically reporting that the new iPhone 7 Pro will actually be called a 7 Pro or possibly iPhone Pro, ditching the plus tagline that Apple's been calling the 6 Plus, 6S Plus. Uh, what they will be doing is that they will be starting 32 gigabytes of base storage, making this truly a pro product. As you know, all the other iPad Pros start at 32 gigabytes. Now, it'll start with 32 gigabytes of base storage at a price of $849. That is a tough pill to swallow. This phone better have some very, very incredible features in order for it to start at that price point. That is just crazy. They're also saying that it'll go up to 949 for 128 and 1049 for 256 gigabytes. Can you imagine spending $1,000 on a smartphone? That's just crazy. So this thing better make up for that price tag. So another leak from Sina Weibo's page, this is an analyst, a uh, leaker. What he leaked is the iPhone 7 front panel. Just take a look at those images. To me, this looks very fishy. I personally wouldn't believe this just because of the credibility of this analyst isn't very good. In the details, if we zoom in real close on the bottom right, there's an inconsistency on the bottom right of the display as if this was photoshopped. I think this could be fake. What the actual leaker is saying though, is that this might be one of the many prototypes Apple is testing. And we know that for a fact, Apple has been testing up to five different models of the upcoming iPhone 7. This could just be one of them. You know, it looks very un -Apple like to completely skip the bezels. I think they're just going to start shrinking them, shrinking them, but to go completely and kill the bezels, you know, it looks a little off to me. So this is something that could be fake, could be real, could be one of the prototypes Apple's testing for the iPhone 7. And that's it for the rumors. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about speculation. So when it comes to the new iPad Pro, uh, this thing is one of my favorite iPads right now. It exceeds the earlier iPad Pro in some ways, but in some ways it's, you know, worse than it. But I think that Apple is going to borrow some technology from the iPad Pro. You know, first off, let's talk about this LTE band. This is very in line with the rumors, the leaks that have been displayed about the iPhone 7 with the leaked shell where this antenna band basically wraps around the bottom and top of the phone. It's something that I could certainly see Apple doing now after seeing this design up close in person very, very futuristic. And I think that's something the iPhone 7 will borrow. So what else though? The True Tone display, you know, as you guys know, this thing comes with two new sensors that adapts the display to your current environment. And it's better than just night shift. It's a more fine tuned night shift. Something I certainly see the new iPhone getting is this new True Tone display technology, but a new True Tone display on the iPhone 7 could be a huge selling factor. And the Apple SIM. So as we know, this thing actually comes bundled with a new SIM card, not the actual SIM card you pull 
out, but in an internal one. It's called the Apple SIM, and it'll automatically program to whatever carrier you're using it with out of the box. I think that's certainly something Apple will add to the upcoming iPhone 7. But again, this is just my speculation. All right, and guys, there you go. That is part 13 of my iPhone 7 leaks and rumors video. I think these videos are gonna slow down from now on. All of the big rumors and leaks are already out there. You know, we know so much already. There's just not much to learn, but I will be still making these. I know some of you guys do like these. So thanks so much for stopping by and watching. Have a great day. Stay tuned for any new iPhone 7 leaks and rumors. Peace.